Hi everyone, it's Sunshine back with another Profit Picks video. These are items that have sold for me from August 2nd through August 8th. And before we get into it, I want to show you guys something. See this big notebook? This is one of those great big five subject small line notebooks. I started this notebook in 2015. Now I've been reselling since 2007. But this one is from 2015 through 2021. As we go through what I sold this week, I will get to start a new notebook. Amazing. Okay, so let's get into the sales. Um, we're gonna start on the second. I had a few sales. And the first item to sell were these Levi Strauss High Rise Fringe Relaxed Bermuda Shorts in a size 18S. I picked these up at my honey hole, paid $4 for them, and listed them for $24.77 and within two days, that's what they sold for. Really quick flip. Some Levi's sell really well, some don't. I don't know the difference, but I'm grateful for the sale. Okay, next item to sell were these Wrangler, the George Strait Cowboy Cut Jeans in a size 34 by 36. I picked these up at the Salvation Army, paid $3.50 for them. I had them listed for $24.77, and that's what they sold for. Okay, next item to sell were these BKE Tyler straight leg stretch jeans in a size 36 by 32. These I got in my most recent um, Thread Up Men's Rescue Box, so I'm into them for $4. I had them listed for, I think, $35.00. Someone sent me an offer of 30, which I gladly accepted. Also, I forgot to say, all three of those sales were on eBay. Okay, then we're going to move on to the third, and the first thing to sell was on Poshmark. So it was this new with tags, London Times, geometric print, short sleeve sweater dress in a size petite XL. I uh, purchased this on eBay years ago, paid $6 for it, never ended up wearing it, listed it, and all these years later, it finally sold for $24. Hallelujah, it's out the door. So glad. I probably had that listed at 30. I don't care if they'd offered me five, I'd have taken it. Okay, next thing to sell, we're back on eBay. It was this DG2 Diane Gilman Orange Sickle Capri Jeans in a size 10T. I picked these up at a small thrift store, paid $2 for them. They originally also sold on eBay for, I want to say, $24, and they were returned to me for the fit. Hello. Okay, so then, you know, when stuff gets returned to me like that, I don't want to deal with it anymore. So even though I had these listed for $25, when I sent out an offer to Watchers for $16.93, someone accepted. Hopefully they fit her, and hopefully she keeps them. Okay, next thing to sell is on Poshmark, and it was these cool revolver, quick dry, articulated hiking pants in a size 38 by 32. Um, those of you that watched my Thread Up Men's unboxing, which I think is two videos before this one, if you guys want to see it. So I got this in that, so I'm into it for $4. I had them listed for $35, and within 24 hours, someone sent me a $30 offer, which I gladly accepted. Okay, next item to sell was on Macari, and it was these Mountain Hardware Crater Lake, oh, it was, I thought these were shorts, no. It was this Mountain Hardware Crater Lake hoodie in a size medium. I picked this up at the Salvation Army, paid $3 for it, had no clue what it was, came home and did some research, listed it up for $30, $35, somewhere around there. Someone sent me an offer of $27, which I gladly accepted. Okay, next item to sell is on eBay, and it was this men's Brighton black leather belt in a size 38. It was really cool. It had the golf conchos on it, so the round or oval conchos, and then they had a golfer on them. Really cool piece. Picked that up at the Goodwill, paid $3 for it, had it listed for $30, ended up sending out an offer to Likers for $24.93, and someone accepted Okay, then we're going to move on to the fourth, and the first thing to sell was on eBay. It was this Juicy Couture Pink Swag Zip Top Barrel Sunglasses Case. 
So I picked this up a long, long time ago. Can't even tell you how much I paid for it. I was no longer using it. I listed it for $20. Someone sent me an offer of $14.50, which, oh wait, no. I sent this out to auction, okay. So I sent it out to auction for $9.77 and it got bid up to $14.50. Okay, next item to sell was also on eBay. And it was the Saucony Grid Cohesion 7 Running Sneakers in a size eight and a half. I picked these up quite a while ago at a small thrift store, paid $5, had them listed for $26.77, and that's what they sold for. But I did sit on those for quite a while. Okay, next item to sell was also on eBay, and it was these unbranded blue jean. It was this unbranded blue jeans denim hobo crossbody bag. So cute. I picked it up at the Salvation Army, paid $3.50 for it. And I think I had it listed for, hmm, $25. Someone sent me an offer of $20.77. I thought, how cute was that? So I gladly accepted. Okay, then I sold some personal care items. Now I need a drink. Next item to sell was also on eBay, and it was this vintage Jessica Howard, I can't read my writing, oh, linen blend maxi dress in a size 16. I picked this up at the Salvation Army, paid $3.50 for it, had it listed for $25, someone sent me an offer of $18, which I gladly accepted. Problem is, she gets it. She sends me an email. I think we're working things out. She opens a case. And she's another reseller like me, so I don't understand why we couldn't just handle that on our own. But anyway, whatever. It was my fault because this was a linen blend dress that was lined. Took excellent pictures of it on the mannequin, saw no issues with it. When she gets it, she flips it inside out, which I did not do, which is my bad. And I guess somebody had hemmed it or taken it in at the shoulders and she said it was ripped at the hem, which I don't see how that could be. And it not show up on the mannequin. But whatever. I was at fault for not checking the inside to begin with. So, I just went ahead and refunded her money and told her to donate the item. Then, I get this uh, dress the other day I was photographing. I made sure to turn it inside out. And sure enough, the uh, shoulder pads were coming apart. So... All these years I've been reselling, I don't flip garments inside out. I'm going to have to start doing that. Just goes to show you, no matter how long you've been doing this, you're always learning something new. Okay. Next item to sell was also on eBay. And it was this new old stock Ebbets Field Wool Blend Baseball Hat. Once, or, yeah, I don't think it was adjustable. But I also got this piece in my most recent uh, men's thread up box. So I'm into it for $4, and it had this cool, like, popcorn stand emblem on the front. I didn't know what it was. I had no clue. But I knew because of the wool, I was going to try sending it out to auction for $34.77, and that's what it sold for. I didn't even know what it is. I mean, what that symbol is, I still don't know. Try Google lensing it, nothing. But anyway, that was a really good flip, so I'm happy with it. Okay, that. then we're going to move on to the fifth. And uh, this was on eBay. I sold these new, without tags, Marvel Superheroes jogger sweatpants in a size extra, extra large. They were really cool. They had gold foil with all the superheroes' names and gold foil all over them. And I picked these up at Goodwill, paid $5 for them, had them listed for $29.77, and that's what they sold for Really cool, unique. I couldn't find anything out on them. Nobody had any listed, so yeah. Great flip. Okay, then we're going to move on to the sixth. I had a few sales. First thing to sell was on eBay. It was this new Tags Nevada Diamondback Rattlesnake Shot Glass. It was extra large, really big, had the, the bonded on or something. I don't even know how they got it around the shot glass of that rattlesnake, but it was so cool and unique. And my friend and I, when we went on this short staycation, I picked up a few of them for a quarter. They were on clearance. Now I wish I'd have picked them all up. But anyway, I had this listed for $14.77 and ended up sending out an offer to Watchers for $12.93 and someone accepted. And what's cool is, 
After he accepted that offer, he went and purchased another one that I had in my store. This one was the Nevada Desert Scorpion. So it was, I mean, it comes up the side. It was like 3D. These were amazing shot glasses. It's just, I really didn't have the space to take them with us since we were traveling. But still, I wish I had somehow bought all of them. Anyway, so he purchased that one for the full $14.77 and I shipped them together. Unfortunately, I couldn't refund him any money because he lived in, I think, Pennsylvania. Yeah, I think we were 50 cents difference in that shipping price I charged on each of those. But anyway, okay, moving on. Next item to sell was also on eBay. It was this new Waco Purple High Impact Sports Bra in a 34 Double D. So it had the black trim. It was gorgeous lilac, beautiful. And it, I put, purchased this at Goodwill, paid $5 for it. Had it listed for, hmm, I think $40, and I ended up sending out an offer to watchers for $34.93, and someone accepted. Okay, next thing to sell is on Poshmark. Sorry about my hair. It is raining out here, and my hair is just frizzing out. I'll look like a lion, probably, by the end of the day. Okay, so it was on Poshmark. It was these AEO kick boot stretch jeans. Dark wash in a size 16S. Hmm, let me look at, nope, what, I thought something else. Okay, so I paid $5 for these at the Salvation Army. I had them listed for $25, someone sent me an offer of $20, which I gladly accepted. Next thing to sell was also on Poshmark, and it was this Carhartt fleece lined sweatshirt hoodie in a size medium. This also came from my most recent men's Thread Up Rescue box, so I'm into it for $4. I listed it for $25, and someone sent me an offer of, oh no, I sent out an offer to Watchers with discounted shipping, and someone accepted. So it ended up selling for $20.50 after that discount. Okay, next item to sell was also on Poshmark, and it was the Skechers Commute Time Contestic, I don't even know how to pronounce that, clogs, in a size 6. I picked these up at my honey hole paid two dollars for them they were really cool really good condition they had kind of this glittery detail on the back and i had them listed for 25 ended up like the other ones sending out an offer to watchers with discounted shipping and someone accepted so these also ended up selling for twenty dollars and fifty cents after that discount okay okay so then we're going to move on to the seventh i had a few sales and i'm telling you I had so many sales on the 7th and 8th, it's crazy. And then today, crickets, nothing. It's like an up and down roller coaster ride. Okay, so the first thing to sell is this Victoria's Secret Country Vintage Cottage Core Sleep Shirt in a size medium. It was vintage. It was like a cottage core pattern. Really pretty. I picked it up at a small thrift store, paid $3 for it. Had it listed for $25, ended up sending out an offer to watchers for $19.93, and someone accepted. Okay, the next item to sell was this Yogi Pace UPF Long Skort in a size extra large. It had wicking capability. It had the UPF built in. I picked it up at Goodwill on Dollar Day, so I'm into it for a dollar. Had it listed for $25, someone sent me an offer of $20, which I gladly accepted. Okay, next item to sell was on Poshmark. So it was these Minnie Mouse uh, sneakers in a size 10. They had the cute little mini heads on them with bows. Oh, so cute. And I picked these up at my honey haul, paid $5 for them, had them listed for $25, and that's what they sold for. Full price sale on Poshmark. Those are few and far between. Okay, next item to sell was also on Poshmark. It was this Peter Millar uh, Merino Wool Pullover Sweater in a size medium. I picked this up from Goodwill not too long ago for $5. And I only had it listed a couple days when someone sent me an offer of $25, which I gladly accepted. I think I probably had it listed at $40, but because it was such a quick flip, I just went ahead and accepted it because I really need space moving out sweaters. I've already accumulated so many for the season, it's crazy. Okay, next item to sell was on eBay. So it was a Susan Bristol linen embroidered eyelet sleeveless top in a size medium. It was white and it had the pretty um, 
crochet eyelet up here and I think around the sleeves and at the hem I can't remember now but I had it listed for $25 someone sent me an offer of $15 which I gladly accepted because I only paid $4 for it and I also need to move out some sleeveless items so when you catch me just right you get a good deal other days I know <laughs> just depends okay next item to sell is also on eBay it was this Lily Bloom Rainbow Cats crossbody bag. I picked this up, paid $6.50 for it at Goodwill. But because it was such a cute print with those kitties all over it, I thought, oh, I got to have this. So I had it listed for $26.77, and that's what it sold for. I'll be picking those up if I find them again, if they're in a cute print anyway. I couldn't find out the style name on it, though, so whatever. It's still sold. Okay, next item to sell was also on eBay. And it was this new without tags Stafford broadcloth dress shirt in a size 15. I have had this thing forever. I think I got this in my first men's thread up rescue box or one of the first ones I got. So I'm into it for $4. But let me tell you, that box was a dud. And I almost didn't get any more, but I'm glad I did because the last one I got was amazing. Which, like I said, you guys want to see it's the video before this one. And it, I had it listed for $14.77 because I think it was sold at JCPenney and someone finally accepted. So, hallelujah, it's out the door. I almost didn't list that either, even though it was new with tags, because, you know, to me, it didn't have any resale value. But, you know, a couple flat lay pictures and yeah. Okay, look, we're starting the new notebook. Okay, so on the 8th, they had a few sales. First thing to sell was on Macari, and it was this Peanuts Tie-Dye Snoopy t-shirt in a size extra large. It was really cool. It had What a Dream on it, and I purchased it doing some retail arbitrage for myself, so I'm into it for $9. Wore it a few times, listed it for $25. Someone sent me an offer of $20, which I gladly accepted. Okay, next item to sell was on eBay. And it was these Hoka Oni Oni Aura Recovery flip-flop sandals in a size 8. I picked these up at my honey hole, paid $2 for them. Had them listed for $50, got so much attention, it's crazy. Nobody wanted to go over $40. Nobody. On all three platforms. I'm like, nope, I'm a 45, so, you know, if I have to sit on them until next year, they're small and they're, you know, easy to store. So, finally, someone accepted my $45 counter offer. And what's cool is she lives here in Arizona. I mean, in Tucson. You know, I'm not sure how far away from me, but I sourced them here, listened to them, and, and in my mind, I'm thinking, I wonder if it's the same buyer that donated them and she realized she made a mistake. But whatever, they're on their way. Okay, next item to sell is on Poshmark. I didn't have this listed probably for four hours before it sold. And what's funny is it sold on Poshmark. And you'll see why when I tell you the brand. So it was these SAS San Antonio shoes, Sun Timer red leather sandals in a size 8.5 8 wide. So I picked these up at Goodwill, paid $5 for them, got them listed, like I said, within four hours. Someone like them on, liked them on Poshmark. And I think I sent out an offer. In fact, I'm pretty sure I did, but whether or not it went to her, I'm not sure. But they ended up selling for my full asking price of $70 on Poshmark. What an amazing flip for $5. Okay, the next item to sell is on eBay. And I've had these for quite a while, but that's okay. I was going to stick to my price because to me, they were so unique. So they were these Zumba neon zip cuff leggings in a size extra, extra large. Gorgeous condition. They were blue with neon yellow logo on them. Striped down the side, I think. I paid $5 for them at a small thrift store, had them listed for $29.77. And like I said, I've sat on them for a while, and I'm not even sure I had any interest on them before now. Maybe I did, and just don't remember. But they ended up selling for my full asking price of $29.77. Okay, next item to sell was also on eBay. It was this new Tags Pop Sugar Linen Ruffle Hem Midi Dress in a size large. I picked these up doing retail arbitrage at Kohl's. So I'm into it for $5. I 
had it listed for 25. Someone sent me an offer of 20, which hallelujah, it's out the door. I've had to have had this dress for a couple of years. Okay. Oh, and I'm in, I was into it for $11, so I barely made my money back, but I don't care. That took up a lot of space. Okay, next item is sells on Poshmark, and it was these Democracy Linen Blend Wide Leg uh, Capri Pants in a size extra small. They had raw cuffs and embroidery at the bottom. Really beautiful, really unique, but I think because they were in a size extra small, they got no attention. So I probably had those listed for $30, maybe $35. I don't remember. But when somebody finally sent me a $20 offer, hallelujah, you can have them. I thought they were so cute, but maybe because of the size, I don't know. Okay, next item is sells on Macari. And it was these Lululemon Keep Moving Track Pants at a size 12. I paid up for these at Goodwill, so I'm into them for $7.50 but I couldn't find anything out on them. I don't know how you guys have time to look at Lulu Fanatics. To me, the site's hard to navigate. You have to kind of know what you're looking for, which I had no clue at all. But anyway, from what I could decipher, they were keep moving and the style was track pants. Were track pants. So that's what I put. So I had them listed for $50. But within hours, somebody on Macari sent me a $38 offer, which because it was so fast and Macari takes the least amount of fees, I gladly accepted. Hope she loves those because I very rarely find that size in Lululemon. So, okay, kids, that's my sales for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I'll see you on the next one.